Hello. Today I'm going to describe a paradigm I call the Jackrabbit Savings Account. It's a two-step process that relies on Jackrabbit to provide a buy signal and the 3C exchange to provide the profit. It's using an aggressive approach to get into the market, but a conservative fail-safe blueprint to get out of the market with the best profit possible. It's very easy to use, and it replaces all of my previous Start Here videos. The Jackrabbit Savings Account is just that. It's a way to emulate a regular bank account savings. It only gets pennies a day, but it's consistent and reliable. So let's get started. We're on trading view. We have Ada loaded. I'm going to just pick a coin at random. Because it really doesn't matter what coin you choose. However, you should take the time necessary to thoroughly research your coins and understand why, why you are investing in them. This is a list of only the top coins above 1 billion market cap. I prefer to stay here because each of these coins have a strong history of recovery. So now we've got our coin. Here it is. Now we're going to load Jackrabbit. Now you can use any Jackrabbit module that provides signals. That is, you can use the main Jackrabbit indicator, you can use the MACD indicator, or the ADX indicator. For simplicity and ease of use to get you started quickly. I'm just going to use the MACD indicator. Now this is all we need, all of these buy signals. The one minute chart works the best for this. We don't need to touch any of the settings whatsoever. This is all you have to do right here. We've picked our coin. We've got our strategy for our signals. Now, we simply go to 3C and we go to our paper account. Now, if you don't have your paper account, go into your settings, scroll down, and see where it says hide paper account. If you see the word unhide here, click on it. That should make it so that your paper account shows up here. You want to click on it. You want to make sure it's highlighted. Then go back into your bots. And we're going to create the second part of this process. The fail safe blueprint. So create bot. Nice and simple, easy to go with. I'm going to simply call this a nice and simple approach, Jackrabbit Savings, JR Savings. We want a composite bot. We want to clear all this out and pick USDT all. The reason you want to pick this is for expandability in the future. You want to be able to work with any and all coins through TradingView without having to constantly edit your bot. So now let's begin the setup process of the bot itself. We only want one deal 
and we only want the smallest base order and safety order size possible. This is it. Everything else up here, long bought quote, needs to stay the same. Now, our start order type, or we want market. We want to be able to have our bot get in and out as fast as possible. So we want, we do not want a limit order because this will force the bot to wait. And that's not what we want. We want speed to drive this. No. We want Jackrabbit to drive the entire process. That is, the buy signals will come from Jackrabbit. Now, right now, this is a sledgehammer approach. It's not very elegant, it's not very graceful, but it gets the job done. While you are learning to use Jackrabbit, this will at least help you work towards breaking even by the end of the month. This is just a starting point. The better you can make your buy signals, the more profitable your results will be. But this does work well, and I will show you an example of it in action. So, trading view signals. Now we want to take profit. I'm going to go with the very conservative one just to get in and out of the market quickly. It's not going to give you the most profits, but it works well and it works consistently. So I recommend you start your testing here. You're not going to need a stop loss because you're going to cover 100% of the volume of the coin. So, right here, take this out. This is the budget you need, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is what you are striving for. If you want to round it up for a little bit of pouting, 1,120 USDT. This is what your target should be. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to start with, but this is what you should work towards. And I will show you an example of where I have a bot that's running the same blueprint, but I don't have this much that I can invest in it. I'll show you how to make sure this stays 100% at all times, or as close to it as possible. So the rest of this is pretty much cookie cutter. You don't want to mess with any of these. You don't want to mess with anything here. You do want this set to 100. Again, you don't want to have to come back to your bot to expand it later on. Set your bot up, be done with it. Be, and all you have to do is just worry about adding to your trading view settings as your resources improve. Now, all of these coins are what you can trade, not what you are going to trade. That's important. So, this is my fail-safe blueprint. I've used this consistently. I've used this reliably. And it's survived a lot of bad market conditions. Quite frankly, I wish I had it when I started. I learned this technique literally through losses. So take advantage of it and use it. It's consistent, it's reliable, and it works. All driven by Jackrabbit. So we're going to go through everything one more time. Make sure your settings have these. That way you have a good foundation to start with. As you develop in your knowledge, you can begin changing a few of these things around, but for now, let's keep it simple 
and let's keep it at the fail-safe level. This will survive everything but a market apocalypse. So you want to be aware of that. Everything but a market apocalypse. This will survive. It's not the most efficient use of your resources, but it is the safest use of your resources. We're going to go through this some more. Make sure your blueprint matches this. If you've been on the website for Patreon or the YouTube channel, this replaces all of the Start Here videos. This is the latest Start Here, if you want to put it that way. This takes into account Jack Rabbit's latest features. So now we're going to create the bot. The bot is created. Bot is started. And now, here it is. Everything we've done. Nice, simple, straightforward, easy to use, and you only need one thing. Deal start. Now, with your real money bot, do not share this. This information is how people can control your bot. So once you start using real money, don't give this out. But I, this is a paper bot. And it will get destroyed at the end of this video. So, click on your message. Very short, very simple, easy, done. There it is. Come over to Trading View. You've got your signal loaded. Here it is. There are multiple ways you can create your alert. You can click on the alarm clock. Click on the alarm clock up here, or you can click on the alert button that's up here, or you can simply press Control A on your keyboard, or excuse me, Alt A on your keyboard. Not Control A, Alt A. We're going to go with the simple, easy visual approach. Open the alarm panel, click on the alarm clock. Now we're going to actually set up an alert through TradingView that will connect to your bot that you created for your savings account. First thing, this always must be the first thing you do. Set your condition. This is the condition we want that gives us our buy signals. So click here. This should be buy asset and we want once per bar close. So when the bar is getting ready to close down and go to the next bar, that's when we, when we want to make our purchase. Now with 3C, you need a webhook. This is what that webhook is. I'll leave this here for a minute and then I'll scroll it in a few minutes. So after you get past the three comma dot IO in this part, and this is correct for the three C exchange. So make sure the web hook is exactly what you see here. This is important, and this is usually the first place you want to look when something goes wrong. Here's the beginning. 
short, sweet, simple, easy. Here's the ending. Write it down. Put it in a little posty note. Put it in your notepad on your computer. Evernote, whatever. Make it so that you can refer to this a lot. Because you will be referring to this a lot. So there it is. Now we come down here. You erase the tracer message. And since we copied the alert message from the bot in our 3C tab, all we have to do here is paste it. But we're not done yet. We have one more thing we have to do. This says ADA, A-D-A. We don't want that. We're creating our alert for Monero, XMR. We need to carefully change that. So go back and replace ADA with the actual coin we're trading. Be careful not to damage any part of the message. Only replace the coin. Once you have that done, you will click on the Create. You will get this warning. This is normal. Just click on Continue Anyway. This is because Jackrabbit pulls real-time data at a very rapid rate. So what you see is often not as caught up as what it actually sees in the mathematics. So you want to just to say continue anyway. And then we have our alert. Now I've got a lot of them here, so let's go see if I can find the one we just created. Of course, you got to click on the right button. Okay. No, no. Okay, here it is. Here is the alert we just created. So now, this alert... When it receives a buy signal, it will trigger our bot over here to buy. Now, I'm going to close this out. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go over here. I have a paper account. I already have a bot running that runs BTC. And this approach can be repeated for any coin you want that is good and stable. Just be sure to change the coin right here to match what you want to purchase. So let's move here. As you can see, I've got quite a few bots running. But this is the one I want. This is the one... That is being echoed by the jackrabbit bot that we just created. Here are the results that I've made. Using the exact same blueprint that I just showed you. A simple starting point and my fail safe blueprint. Nice and easy and consistent. And as you can see within one month this broke even. So while you are learning how to use Jackrabbit more efficiently, this simple little technique will help you make a reasonable profit safely. Here is per day. This doesn't happen very often. This is a rarity, but when it does happen, it's nice. This is what you will most likely see on a consistent basis. Little bits of change here and there. Remember, the point of this is to represent the equivalent of a savings account. Except instead of waiting a full year to get pennies, you're getting pennies every single day just about. 
So, nice and simple. Let's see if we can get some more statistics. Okay, let's go to our deals. Let's go to our deals history. And let's pick the savings account bot. And it'll show you exactly what you can expect out of it. Here it is. So far it's done 80 completed trades. And it's made 46.37. Using this blueprint. Your minimum trading view subscription is $15. Jackrabbit is $25, so your break-even is $40, and you've made a $6 profit. For a very simple introductory setup. And as you can see, it does very well. Nice, quick, and simple. Now, the better you make your buy signal the better your profits are going to be. As I said, just to get you started, this is a sledgehammer approach. It's not eloquent and it's not the greatest, but it works well. Now, I mentioned earlier about how to set it up if you did not have the full budget of $1,120 and I'm going to show you how to do that and here's my bot running nice and simple let's select it this is what I pretty much just showed you it's already made four trades since I built it and it's profited 27 cents again pennies Per day it's not going to get you very far very fast but at the end of the month it has a very high probability of breaking even in fact the likelihood of it not breaking even is really very rare while it can happen it's not very often that that's going to happen as you can see from the test examples that I just showed you. So, right now, four trades, 27 cents, and I'm only doing one coin. The example I just showed you will let you do any number of coins, and I'm going to show you how to set up a second coin in just a minute. So let's clear this out, but let's go look at the bot itself. Let's bring up the bot. Let's go into edit. And I will show you what to do if you don't have the maximum budget. As you can see, up here I only have $707. That's it. I am working towards the $1,120, but this is all I have to work with right now. That's it. This is as close to 100% as I could get. And I'll show you how I did that. Again, all of the coins. Base order. Safety order. My take profit, short, sweet, and simple, no stop loss. I can only handle 63 safety orders at 1.58%. Now, let's set this to 1%. And you notice it's only 63% of the volume. My max budget is still 705. 
So I have to have this at 100%. You must get as close to 100% or equal to 100% as possible for this to work. So you change your deviation appropriately. So 1.5 is 94, 98, 98, 99, over 100%. So we go back to 1.58% deviation. Get it as close to 100% without going over as possible. Make sure you cover this as much as possible based upon your actual budget. And when you figure your budget, be sure you figure the total for your base order and all of your safety orders. So basically divide this by 11 and then subtract 11, since that's the size of our base orders and safety orders. So there you are. This is how you deal with it when you don't have the budget. You should work towards the budget completely because 1% deviation is the best possible situation. This bot will be slower. It won't be as profitable because I don't have the full radius of funds necessary. But it will still be profitable. As this page will show you. So here it is. So far running only one coin. Two days. That's all I've had this bot running. And here's what it's done in two days. Not bad. Complete profit. Not bad. One coin. Now let's go back to our paper account. Let's go back to our bots. Let's go back to our Jackrabbit savings. Right here. Let's go get our start deal message. We're going to add a second coin. Right here, click on it. Now, let's pick another coin. Everybody loves Bitcoin, but it can be a very difficult coin to work with because of its volume swings. But nonetheless, it works with this format. So here we go, Bitcoin off of Binance, since that's what 3C uses. Same exact blueprint, not changing anything whatsoever. Same exact buy signals. Open up your alert panel. Click on your alarm. Change your condition to the MACD. We've got it for bias buy asset once per bar. It already plugged in the webhook for us. Verify it, make sure it's correct. Remove the tracer. Paste the message that we copied off of the bot. Remember, we have to change ADA to be the coin we want. Unless, of course, we are trading ADA. So we want BTC. Now, you're not trading BTC and XMR at the same time. Click here. Always click here for Jackrabbit. This is known. And now we have BTC in our list of alerts. And there we are, nice and simple, already there. 
You can do this for any coin in the system, but I recommend you stay above a 500,000 market cap. 500 million, excuse me. Those are going to be your best coins. And quite frankly, I only recommend the coins above the 1 billion market cap as they are the most likely to recover any market condition. The more volatile the coin, meaning the more ups and downs it makes in prices, the more likely you're going to profit. But at the same time, that could also work against you if it takes a really severe down drop. Like what Bitcoin has done lately with its 20% drop. Like right here. Notice it recovered, but nonetheless, this can have an impact on your duration. The fail-safe blueprint works because it simply accumulates as the price drops, waiting for it to climb. It's based upon pure mathematics of dollar cost averaging with the fact that 75% of all market profit is because of dollar cost averaging. That is a known, proven, statistical fact within the stock market and crypto markets. This blueprint is built on that fact. It's a simple, easy-to-use blueprint that uses an aggressive entry point and a conservative selling point. So as you develop and you use this technique, you will see it work. Now, I have already built this system here to use multiple coins. And that is what all of these coins are down here. Now, this is using an advanced technique that I'm not going to cover right now. But, as you can see, all of these coins trade on my savings account. Now, notice I've got a lot of signals here. But I don't have the buys here. I only have a limited amount of finances. $705 in this account. That's it. I can't handle more than one coin at a time. So the bot will not buy anything else until this is sold off. Once this is sold off, it'll wait for one of these coins to show off a signal. Once the signal occurs, it will buy that coin that gives it the first signal. As you can see, it could be any of these coins. The nice thing about this blueprint is you can scale it. Meaning if you have $2,230, you can do two coins simultaneously. So it's something that you can build on and expand over time. As you grow and develop in using Jackrabbit, you can grow and develop in complex purchasing paradigms, meaning you can get better signals to buy better coins. Let's go to, let's go back to uh, Monero. Close this out. Now you will learn about this as you read in the Jackrabbit support server and you see other videos. But I'm going to go through a very quick approach to show you how to get better buy signals. Now, 
I'm going to use the Binance order book. And I'm going to use BTC with the USDT base currency. Oops, went too far here. I'm going to use confirmation bias. That means I'm going to use BTC and XMR simultaneously so that both coins must show a buy signal at the same time. I'm not going to change anything else. Just those three simple changes. Time frame here matches the time frame here. I want BTC compared against XMR when they both show a buy signal. Then and only then do I want it to buy. Simply click on OK and notice all of our buy signals have gone away. They've been filtered out to better quality signals. As you grow and develop in Jackrabbit, take advantage of these types of things. Give yourself better signals because better signals will produce better profits. Simple things you can do as you're learning. And that will show up here quicker. So, watch this video several times. Go through the setup. Make sure you use the fail-safe blueprint. If you can't cover the $1,120, scale it down and raise your deviation like I showed you. Get as close to 100% as possible within your coverage. That is the secret to this whole process. Cover as much of the volume as you can. That is it right here. This is the best way you're going to survive the market in its most dramatic state. Take the time, figure it out, and develop between your safety orders and the amount of your deviation. Get as close to 100% as possible. Work within your budget, but cover the entire volume. That will give you the best protection against every kind of market situation except the market apocalypse. So use the fail-safe blueprint. Use an aggressive entry point. And then take the time you need to slowly learn how to make your buy signals better. Until next time.